Devon said this to Dennis. Have no doubt that I'm ready to defeat you tomorrow. I've come here to destroy you. And then towards the end of the press conference, Dennis replied by saying, be ready, be prepared for war tomorrow. It looks like Devon is finally back into his aggressive and authoritative form during the press conference. But to me, he still looked somewhat distracted. He was worried about way too many things, starting from how and why Babkan should be and can be reported to police for what he has said and he should be put in the jail or he can be put in the jail and then he was bringing flowers okay that was a part of a promotion of the press conference trying to hype up the event but then he was worried about the left-handed legacy hammer Georgi Svetkov was also able to distract him a little bit so it looks like Devon is really confident but he's kind of less focused on destroying Dennis on the right arm and I'll say almost equally as focused on a bunch of other things as well. So in this video, we'll discuss the main highlights of the press conference. Georgi Svetkov versus Devon Lett was a funny segment. We'll discuss that. And then Devon versus Dennis. So Georgi Svetkov started talking about, about Zaur Pezulayev naturally because he's his opponent tomorrow. He said that I beat Zaur in 2021. I have big chance to win this one as well. And now I'm focusing more on the sport of arm wrestling rather than my business. So I'm going to get stronger than I've ever been. Zaur Pezulayev said that I'm about 92% right now. That's the exact same thing that he told Coach Ray in that interview as well. And during the interview, he initially talked about his injury. He said he still couldn't lift heavy because it scares him. But then he said, okay, no more talk about this injury issue and coach Ray was still talking about it and Zaur was like no more talk about that it was almost like Mike Tyson telling that interview the interviewer is over I was I thought that coach Ray is going to get punched after that <laughs> okay so Zaur also said that he has good chance then Georgi Svetkov talked about Devon he said that my main goal after this match if I win is to face this guy over there of course pointing to Devon Larratt I want to revenge my left arm and he knows what is going to happen on the right arm. It seems to me as if Georgi Svetkov was able to put a real bad beating on Devin Laird's right arm in that secret practice pull that Neil refused to release. It was something worse. That's why Georgi is always laughing about it. He's always telling that Devin knows what's up. He knows how that right arm match is going to go. That's why I want that match. So he discussed about that. And then I said that he said that I want to beat Zhao right now, then Devon and then Levan. That's Georgi Svetkov's trajectory to the top that he wants to achieve. Then Devon replied, Georgi, you don't know how to arm wrestle. You only top roll. You have no chance of beating me. Then Engin reminded him when Devon was saying that it was left arm, it didn't matter. Engin reminded him about him talking about the... I think the Denis Siplenkov left arm match, I'm kind of confused what the issue was, but he was saying that it basically doesn't matter because it was the left-handed match. Then Dennis versus Devon, the main topic. Devon said, and I quote, he dugged me for 15 years. And by the way, this is Devon's opening statement when he started talking about Dennis. He dugged me for 15 years. 15 years, he was scared to pull me. 15 years, he had opportunity and he begged for left hand. And Dennis replied to this, like, what 15 years are you talking about? I defeated you five years ago. So what are the 15 years that you're talking about? Devon said, no, now finally it's going to happen and I'm going to destroy you on the table. But you're coming to me as a fragile dude already. So you've already lost that match. This is what Devon was trying to say. And he said that you've already been beat and I've already won this match. You are really, really fragile. And then Devon brought flowers for Dennis. That was kind of unexpected. And he went down on his knees and gave him some flowers. Three for him and three for <laughs> three for Babkin, obviously. And then Dennis refused to accept those flowers. And those flowers were handed over to Ongar by, by Devon Laird. So he accepted them. Dennis said that you're not a good person. I cannot accept these flowers from you. I cannot accept that gift. And once again, that was surprising to me for the second time. Devon talked about or he asked Dennis if he wants a hook or that was more of a question. Are you going to go in a hook in round one? No, Devon, I, I, I really hope that you are not thinking that you can beat Dennis in a hook in round one because 
that's simply not going to happen it just cannot happen i've never seen dennis lose when he has his wrist like that can you imagine give me one example man come on one example i'm not even saying this because probably dennis can't even do that if dennis siplankov's wrist is straight like this then if the wrist is this he has never lost at least i don't remember him losing like that so that's a bad decision even in this form dennis is going to destroy devon if that match goes into that position then devon asked about the left arm match he said that why are you not competing now i can beat you now right then and there he offered him a left handed match dennis said that my shoulder is not okay so i'm not going to compete and then devon said okay take about 15 months and i'll probably compete in 25 more matches till then and 15 months come back and defend your hammer against me or just hand it over to someone and then dennis talked about vitali lalitin because initially he was talking about handing over the hammer not handing over but giving the first opportunity to devon but now he's talking about vitali lalitin so maybe dennis has changed his mind right now and devon is never going to get that shot at the left handed legacy hammer but i love to see that dennis is waiting for that doctor's clearance and then he'll be competing then devon talked about babkan babkan started talking from the back side he was not visible but devon got really really aggressive you can see that devon does not hate anything that dennis has said or done all of his hate is towards babkan and towards the end he did ask dennis why did he call me why did you call me a clown dennis said that clown is not a bad word in my culture so what's the problem devon said that gay is not a bad word in my culture so what's the problem that dennis said okay then so the problem was resolved right then and there then after that dennis said that you're not a good quality high quality person so devon told dennis to stay away from babkan because he's probably not good for for dennis that's what he said and that was kind of strange and towards the end levan saginashvili was asked devon was asked a question about levan levan said if if devon could have beaten levan if he didn't get injured in that second round probably i'll make a separate video about that but they were having fun devon was saying that i would have destroyed him i was going to destroy levan if that injury didn't happen and i genuinely believe devon was thinking and devon is still kind of mad about that luck that bad luck that he had that day he says that i want to get my arms broken in a match but like nobody likes that nobody likes to get injured because there is always a possibility that you could have won then they talked engin also said that if to that guy whoever was giving death threats to devon fuck you that's what engin said and the crowd started cheering and clapping for engin terzi that was a funny moment devon was asked about his top 5 most difficult opponents besides levan he said it's actually levan actually besides dennis they asked levan segnashvili vitali lalitin georgi swetkov zaur pezelayev then gennady quickvinia when he comes back so this was the highlight the entire highlight from the live stream the press conference thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the pay per view live commentary will be there purchase the pay per view if you cannot join the live stream commentary subscribe to the channel bye